so it's not the nicest day out there, but that means it's a great day for an office tour. You guys wanna see the office? This office, well actually no, this is just the smaller area. Uh, this is the office. But why don't we actually go through and kind of do a little tour of the place. Just a little one. We don't have much here yet, but we got a little bit more stuff in here. So let's do the tour. So you come in through that door. We got our boosteds lined up here. Our one wheels lined up here. Probably need to figure out a better storage solution. This is taking up a lot of space. This is the bathroom. Pretty big bathroom. One wheels are great, by the way. Then you come into the main space. And we haven't really done too much in here yet. It's pretty bare bones right now. We're trying to figure out how to use this space the best. Uh, so far, we just have like a bunch of stuff here. And then our desks. We bought some desks. We got desks there. And I'm kind of playing around with my setup, trying to figure out what's the best way to film in here. Um, it's actually kind of tricky to find a really nice sit down location angle thing. So. Uh, I'm playing around with stuff. Uh, do you guys want to see my setup? Uh, let's do it. First, I got to take off my jacket. It's getting hot. All right. So I got this nice new big monitor here. My laptop this is going to be my mobile workstation. 1DX2 here. Uh, do you guys want to? This thing's actually. Uh, let me show you something. Check this thing out, guys. It even does tricks. Flips. This thing is actually way harder to fly than it looks. If you've ever tried one of these things, you know how tricky it is. But this thing will make you a good drone flyer, so if you want to practice, uh, this one's good. Then my main studio camera was this guy, the C300 Mark II. I'm still using that with the small HD 502 monitor there. That's kind of my studio setup. Uh, got my Rode NTG3 mic for the best high quality sound, um, aperture 120D with light dome. And then you might be wondering what, what this drape thing is all about. Well, in lighting, you don't just add lights, you actually also take away light. So that's what this thing is doing. It's taking away light. It's making half my face darker. So we have white walls and, and windows and stuff, and it's just bouncing light all over. So I'm kind of trying to shape light. And so that's called a negative fill, where you're taking out light. You're trying to make that side darker. Man, check out the screen though. I'm just loving this thing. If you're curious, that's the LG Ultra Wide. I think it's 38 inches wide. I'll talk about that in another video, but I'm really liking that thing. So the office is great and it's gonna be super good once we kind of get everything set up, but it's missing one big thing. There's a big space that needs to be filled. And I've been thinking about this for a really long time and planning it out and all that, and I think I'm finally ready. I need an editor. It's time. So I'm looking for an editor, filmer, assistant, but the main job will be editing. You need to be really good at editing. Yes, there's gonna be opportunities to travel and do all sorts of cool projects, but the majority of the work will be right in this office editing. Let me explain how this is gonna go, and sorry about the echo, we really need to get that fixed. Anybody can apply, anybody can apply right now, but do not apply if you're not well experienced. This is not an intern assistant job. This is a good professional editor that I can rely on. I don't have time to train somebody in editing right now. But anybody can apply, although Canadians will be preferred because of the whole work visa thing issue. But anybody can apply. What I want you to do is to send me an email to hirememaddy at gmail.com. Tell me your name, your age, where you're from, and your work experience. On top of that, I want you to make a quick like th max three minute video. Do not make it longer than three minutes. If it's longer than that, I will just not even watch it. Max three minutes. Make a video telling something about yourself, put your personality into it, but most importantly, show off your editing skills. If you want, you can put Hire Me Maddie into the title of the video or post it on Twitter or wherever using the hashtag Hire Me Maddie, just so you have more chances of me actually seeing that video. Because if there's thousands of submissions, I have 
no idea how I'm gonna go through all that. So the more you post it in different places, the more chances you have that I'm gonna actually see it or other people will post and say, this is a good candidate. You must be a Premier Pro user, no exceptions there. And it really benefits you if you know how to film also. So when I need some help filming, you can help. But you don't need to be in the videos. You don't need to be a face in the videos if you don't want to. But it's probably gonna happen pretty organically anyways. After that, I'm gonna choose the top five people. I'm gonna put you guys to a brutal editing test. I'm gonna give you guys some footage, some video clips, and I'm gonna get you guys to edit it within just two days. I'm gonna give you two days to edit something that I give you. And I wanna see what you guys come up with because that's the best real world test of YouTube world. You gotta be fast. It doesn't matter if you're super good at editing. If you can't do it fast, then you're not cut out for this world. The deadline for submissions will be in two weeks. You have two weeks to make your little one, two, max three minute video. Send me the email with the information. After that, I'll choose the top five people and you guys will be entered into the Thunderdome of editing where five men or, or women will enter and only one man or woman will come out. And if you don't get the reference, you should watch some Mad Max. It's a good series, seriously. So that is the big news. I'm hiring, I wanna hire you. One of you will fill up this space or maybe it'll be that space. Not quite sure yet, but one of the spaces will be filled by you. Exciting times. I'm really looking forward to seeing who, who applies, what kind of candidates there are, and who ends up being a part of this office. It's one of my big goals, so I'm pretty happy that we're getting one step closer to that. All right, send your submissions to hiringmaddie at gmail.com. Only those submissions will be taken in. Don't send it anywhere else. But again, you can post it on social media just to make sure that I see it. All right, I think I uh, maybe should do some work here or something. Maybe I'll go tweak my work area or something. I don't, I don't know, what, what do YouTubers do in their offices? All right, see you guys. Now for real, bye.